Managing your budget is one of the most important elements of self-publishing. Uh, it makes all the difference between maybe breaking even, maybe making a profit or losing money. And it's a thread that runs through every part of the self-publishing process, including getting quotes, deciding on the most cost-effective methods and deciding when you're going to employ an expert to do something rather than do it yourself. I managed our budget by producing a spreadsheet and I produced a simple spreadsheet just to give you an idea of how it might work. The first thing I've done is make a decision in this spreadsheet on a retail price for the book and I've chosen $30. Choosing that price is about deciding what you think people will pay for the book you're going to produce. I've also decided that we're going to print 750 copies. All of these figures can be changed. On the left hand side it's all my expenditure and that includes things like the editor, the designer, the printing costs and they help me to keep track of every dollar that's going out in the production of this book. It gives me two interesting figures. The first one is a mistake that some people make in assuming that if you divide the printing cost by the number of books that gives you a unit cost for each book. In this case about nine dollars but if you look at the bottom line of that income column you'll find that actually when you've added up everything you've spent and divide it by the number of books you've printed the unit cost for production is nearer seventeen dollars. On the right hand side of my spreadsheet I've got my potential income. Again these are guesses they're about working out the spread of where you're going to get rid of your books and sell them. The first batch of those are all books that actually give you no income at all. They're distributed free. They may be the ones you need to lodge with libraries. They may be ones you send to reviewers. They may be ones you enter into competitions. But they give you no income at all because they're a 100% discount. The next batch of books are the ones you might sell yourself directly. If you're doing a talk or visiting a book club and they give you quite a good return because there is no discount and no intermediary costs. The final section is where you would hope and expect the majority of your income will come from and that's books that are sold by bookshops. Some of those you'll deliver yourself, some of them you may have to distribute by post so there's a postage cost and some of them may be distributed by a distributor. The important thing with this model spreadsheet when you look at that line of the distributor is that you're giving the bookshop a 40% discount and the distributor is claiming another 10%. That gives a unit income on the book of $15. That's less than the cost of production. So you can see that every copy of the book that you sell is actually at a loss. But this is where the strength of a spreadsheet comes in. Because by just changing one figure the retail price of the book from $30 to $35. If you look at the right hand side, the unit sale price, you will see that that now changes to reflect the increase in the price. And our important line of books that are distributed to booksellers by a distributor now gives us $17.50 a copy, which means we're actually making a very small profit. The real advantage of a spreadsheet is it allows you to play around with the figures, try things out, enter different amounts and see what the impact is. We call it modelling. But it can also be a tool that allows you to keep track of your expenditure. As you get prices, as you pay invoices, then you enter them in and you can see just how things are going.